<laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Elisa. Um, I'm going to be reading you The Way I Feel Today. It's a book about your emotions. Um, so let's get started. It's by Janan Kane. Silly. Silly is the way I feel when I make a funny face and wear a goofy poofy hat that takes up a lot of space. See, that's a pretty goofy hat, right? I'm shaking because I'm scared. All alone in the dark at night, the thunder and lightning crash and roar. Hold me close and turn on the light. We've all felt scared before, right? Take a moment to think about what scares you. I'm scared of the dark. The plans were made so long ago for you to visit me today, but now you can't come after all. I'm disappointed we can't play. Disappointed. The smile you see upon my face as the sun shines in the sky shows the world that I feel happy and my mood is soaring high. Happy. And this is the picture that goes with it. So, do you feel happy when we get to go outside during program? Or we get to go on the computer? Sometimes I feel so very sad and really don't know why. Instead of playing and having fun, I cry and cry and cry. Angry is how I feel right now. I shout with a mighty roar. I mostly want to frown and growl and stomp upon the floor. The wheel fell off my brand new truck and I needed some help from you. You kindly fixed my favorite toy. I'm thankful, thankful for all that you do. What holiday do we celebrate thankfulness? Remember we had a big celebration at program? Thanksgiving. I'm frustrated because I can't do it. It's hard and I want to cry. I don't know whether to give up or give it another try. Frustrated. If someone says hello to me, I suddenly feel so shy. Instead of waving back at them, I hide my face and walk on by. I can't make up my mind. There's nothing I want to do. The days drag on and on. I'm feeling bored and blue. So we're making this video so that you have things to do if you're bored. And after I finish reading this book, Alroy is going to do a really fun activity with you guys. I'm bouncing like a rubber ball. I'm more excited than I can say. It's really hard for me to sit when I'd rather jump and play. Excited. I want to play with you right now. I don't think taking turns is fair. I'd rather have you t to myself. I'm jealous when I have to share. I did it, I did it, I shout to the crowd, getting dressed by myself. It makes me feel proud. So we're gonna do another video about getting dressed by yourself, folding clothes the right way. Feelings come and feelings go. I never know what they'll be. Silly or angry, happy or sad, they're all a part of me. So everyone feels all of these things, and it's totally normal. And that's the end. So now that we're done with the way I feel, Elroy is going to play a game with you guys that I hope you really like. Um, and I'm going to let him take it from here. Wow, Lisa, that was an amazing book that you just read. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Now let's get to the activity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna think about for a second all the feelings we just you guys just heard. Um, 
the two main feelings that I think we should talk about are happy and angry. So one activity we're going to be doing is we're going to write a sentence of we, you, me, Elisa will have one minute to write uh, one sentence about happy. So right now, I'll put the timer on, and we will write a sentence on how what makes us feel happy. All right. All right. Let's get started. Let's get it. All right. Let us know when you start the timer, okay? You got it, Elisa. All righty. Guys, get your piece of paper. Paper, writing utensil. Anything. And then we'll do the same thing here. And I got, let me get my timer ready. All righty. All right, guys, get ready. We're going to have one minute. The timer's going to go off. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready. Three, two, one, begin. All right, let's start writing the what makes us feel happy. Let's see. Got to think about this. Thirty more seconds, guys. Right. So hopefully you have one sentence written down and one more to go. Okay. Alrighty. Remember, it can be anything that makes you guys feel happy. Whatever it is. Make sure it's more than two words, though. I know yeah. some of you like writing one or two words. <laughs> Try to write in complete sentences. Oh, perfect. Timer's over. Excellent. All right, so Alroy, what did you write? What makes you feel happy? So what I wrote, what makes me feel happy, is I wrote, I feel happy when I get good grades at school. So obviously it's going to come out silly, but I hope you guys can see my little smiley face right there. But yes, um, that makes me really happy when I get my grades back, and it's all A's or 100s, whatever it is. Whenever I see an A or a hundred, I'm happy and everyone else is happy. What about you, Elisa? What makes you happy? I get happy when I get good grades, too. Awesome. But <laughs> that's not what I wrote. I wrote that I feel happy when I go outside and bike. So I have not been on the bike since all of winter, but it's starting to get nice out, and I'm really excited to go for a bike ride. Oh, yeah. And I also wrote that I feel happy when I see my friend because it's really great to socialize and hang out with other people that you care about. Of course. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. So now we're going to do angry feelings. Yep. So now we're going to get time again. Now you guys will have another minute to write down what makes you feel angry. Um, it could be anything. Again, more than two to three words. Please, full sentence like Elisa said before. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have one minute, you guys are going to have one minute, and when the timer goes off, uh, we will stop, and then yeah, we'll tell you guys what makes us feel happy. Okay. All right? You ready, Lisa? I'm ready. All Let's right. do it. Let me get my timer ready again. All right. And... Three, two, one, begin. All right, Let's see. So... I have to think about, you know, when I get upset, why do I get upset? Yeah. And what are some ways we can tell somebody that we're feeling upset? Yeah. How do we communicate our feelings? Because if we don't tell somebody about our feelings, um, it'll just build up and build up, and then eventually it'll... Yeah. So very emotional and it won't be good so it's good if you ever feel angry to express yourself yep. and also think about you know when I get angry my face gets hot and my muscles feel tense it's not a good feeling so I want to get rid of that feeling as soon as possible right and time's up guys all right all righty so, Elisa, would you like to go first? Yeah. All righty. So, I wrote 
that I feel angry when I don't get what I want. So if you remember, I said that I really like to go biking, but I wasn't able to all winter. So that made me kind of angry because it wasn't nice out. But um, you know what? I just got through it. I talked about it, and now I can go biking. And I also feel angry when I argue with my brother. <laughs> Those are my two things. I think we all argue with our siblings. <laughs> yeah. But it's out of love, of course. Yes. Alrighty. Now, what makes me feel angry is my little dog. Uh, sometimes he, he goes to number two in the house. And whenever he goes to number two in the house, that's when I get really, really angry. Mm. His name's Bobby. <laughs> I'm like, Bobby, why? <laughs> um, another thing I feel angry is the opposite of when I do well in school. Um, when I don't do too well, that's when I also get very, very angry. Um, not at anybody, just at myself. And that happens. You could get angry at yourself when you don't do what you expected. Um, so when I don't do too well on an exam or a test or a spelling test, I feel very, very angry. And yeah. Now we're gonna move on to a, one another activity, and yeah, yeah, let's move on. Okay, guys. So for this activity, we're going to draw one picture of one of the sentences we wrote. So when I wrote the things that made me happy, I wrote that my bike makes me happy, and I wrote that my friends make me happy. So I'm going to draw a bike. You decide what you guys want to draw, and we're gonna give you two minutes to do so. Um, Elroy's going to set a timer, and we're all going to draw one picture of something that makes us happy. All righty, guys. Here we go. Get creative, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Don't just draw, like, you know, little words or whatever. Just stick figures, whatever, and, you know, add, like, little bubbles, and then, like, point who's who, and, yeah. So yep. here we go. Ready? Yep. All right. Three, two. Remember, you guys will have two minutes. Set. Go. Here we go. Sometimes it's really good to um, draw the way you, uh, how you feel. Mm-hmm. Gets your emotions out. Yep. Because sometimes you may not be able to express the way you feel. Um, but some of you, I know, are really good in art mm -hmm. and drawing pictures. So, you know, how we were saying before that it's very important to tell people how you feel. And if you can't tell them with your words, you could always tell them with your pictures. Yeah. Yep. So I decided to draw a bike. So I'm drawing a picture of a bike because they make me happy. But I'm also going to think about other things that make me happy when I'm on my bike. So I'm going to draw some trees and some nature. And then I'm maybe going to draw... A big smile because smile means that you're happy right mm -hmm. so when you're drawing this picture try to consider or think about all the other things that are part of your happiness so like if if you wrote like I'm happy eating milk and cookies draw the milk draw the cookies maybe you can draw the box that the cookies come in you can draw who you eat the cookies with, things like that. Draw your table, because obviously, unless you eat them standing up, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, draw the table, draw yourself. You know, like I said, like what I'm gonna do is so you guys, when I show you my picture, you guys will tell like where's me and, you know, and all this other stuff for when I get curious, because that's just, that's what I'm gonna decide on, what I'm gonna draw. Alright guys, 10 more seconds. Alright. And we're done. Right. Pencils down. Pencils down, <laughs> markers down. So I'm going to show you guys what I drew. I just want to draw one more thing really quickly. So I drew a bike. Wow. And I drew the grass because I love nature and trees and I have sun because I love sunshine. So those are all things that make me happy. Excellent job, Lisa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So I decided to draw when I get good grades. So what I draw, what I drew was uh, stick figures. Uh, this is me, my little glasses. 
that's when I get an A plus on a paper or anything. There's my mom, there's my dad, and my mom saying, uh, yay, like <laughs> She's and, congratulating yeah. you. Yeah. Because a lot of us like when we hear, like when we do well, positive feedback. Yes. Yes. Um, and my dad saying, good job, <laughs> with an exclamation point. Really good work, Elroy. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. <laughs> what did you guys draw? Show your mom, yeah, dad, show uncle, whomever. Hang it up on the wall. Oh, yeah. Or if you guys want, bring it back uh, with you, and then we can, you know, maybe. Yeah, we could turn it into a project. Exactly. You could show the rest of your friends. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, so just like last time, we're going to draw a picture of one of the sentences of our angry emotion. Mm. So think about what you wrote makes you mad and decide which one you want to draw. So I think I'm going to draw that I get angry when I fight with my brother. What about you? Uh, I'm going to draw when I don't do well in school. And yeah, so we're going to have two minutes again. Let's get ready to start drawing again. Again, it's just like last time. Don't draw little things. Go a little all out. You know, you guys have two minutes. Mm -hmm. um, all righty. You ready, Lisa? Yep, I'm ready. All righty. Let's start. Hope you guys are ready too. Three, two, one, and go. All right, let's get drawing. Mm -hmm. So again, like last time, I'm going to draw all the things that happen when I get angry. So, And all the little details I can think about. So I'm drawing my hair, I'm showing like what my body might look like. I put my hands on my hips, I get really angry. My eyebrows get furrowed, furrowed, mm -hmm. whatever the word is. And I'm also going to draw my brother because when we argue, my brother is there, obviously. Mm -hmm. And in this one, I'm also going to include some speech bubbles because usually when you're arguing with someone and you feel angry you have words with them and sometimes those words aren't always nice which is why it's important to talk out through your anger as we stated before mm -hmm. again guys like elisa was saying make sure if you can add like the poses because when we're upset mm -hmm. um, or when we're raising our voice our arms you know, tend to do different types of you know, positions. So, and because, like I said, we want to go all out, we want to you know, draw that too. Also consider, you know, when you get angry, what does your face look like? Like I said, like I'm drawing my eyebrows to be really, you know, deep set and pensive. Um, do you have, is your mouth open when you're angry? Um, you cry sometimes I cry when I'm angry oh yeah um, so all things to consider just about 15 seconds left guys mm -hmm. make sure you add any last details <clears throat> So this is what I drew. I wrote the word argue and angry because I get angry when I argue. And I drew my brother. He's yelling at me and I'm yelling at him back and I'm crying because that's what happens when I get angry. Excellent job, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what I just drew was by myself because sometimes when I don't do well or when I feel angry, I like to keep to myself so that way I don't like yell at anyone or hurt anybody's feelings when I'm angry so that's why I just drew myself I drew I wrote down I'm I'm angry when I don't do well in school so that's obviously uh, an F that's the lowest grade or getting a zero and that's what makes me very angry at myself because I know I could have done better and I just think what what could I have done to, you know, get a better grade? And yeah. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for um, The Way I Feel book by Jan and Kane. Um, I hope you guys had a fun time doing all of our activities. And we will be making more videos for you guys to watch. And um, we miss you. Take care.